The sun had just begun to set on a warm summer day when Emily received the call. Her heart sank as she heard the news that her father, who she had not spoken to in years, was terminally ill. She had been harboring resentment for such a long time that it had poisoned her relationships and pervaded every aspect of her life. Emily had always resented him for abandoning her and her mother when she was a young child. Without giving them any notice, he had disappeared, leaving them struggling to make ends meet. Since then her mother had worked tirelessly to care for them, but Sarah had grown up feeling like she had been abandoned by her father. As Emily arrived at the hospital, the sun began to descend over the horizon. Her chest felt like it was being crushed by an immense burden that refused to let off. Even though she had always known that her father would one day pass away, nothing could have prepared her for how it would make her feel. Emily's thoughts were an overwhelming mess of emotions as she proceeded through the hospital's sterile hallways. Like a tornado, it was spinning rapidly and posing a threat to dismember her. She was conscious that she needed to speak with her father for her to express all the things that had been kept private, but the thought made her feel unstable like walking on thin ice. She finally made it to her father's bedroom. Her ears were filled with the sound of machinery humming and whirring, and the air was weighted with the smell of antiseptic. With his eyes closed and his breathing struggled, her father was lying on a hospital bed. As she got closer to him, Emily felt a lump in her throat. She muttered, Dad, scarcely discernible in her voice. It's me, Emily. The eyelids of her father's head flickered open, and he gave her a feeble smile. He rasped, Hey, kid. Emily took her father's hand and sat down in the chair next to the bed. It resembled an autumn leaf that has fallen from a tree since it was cool and thin. Under her fingers, she could dimly feel his heartbeat. I'm sorry, she said, her voice trembling. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for all I said and for pushing you away. I didn't mean it like that. I love you, Dad. Her father gave her hand a flimsy squeeze. I know, he replied. I also love you, Emily. Have done so, and I always will do so. As they sat there in silence, Emily experienced a sense of serenity. She felt like a warm blanket that someone had put around her, keeping the cold at distant. Even though she was aware that her father was passing away, it didn't matter at that moment. All that mattered was the love they shared. Her father then resumed speaking. You know, life's like a river, he remarked, barely raising his voice above a whisper. At one time it's calm and at the other it is rough. However, it continues to flow. And at last, it always makes it to the ocean. The corners of Emily's eyes began to water. I don't want you to disappear, she said. Don't be sad, her father responded. The time has come. Emily, don't be afraid. You're a powerful person, and you can get through this. I have trust in you. And with that, her father's breathing slowed down, and his eyes once again closed. Emily sat there, clutching his hand, until she noticed that his pulse had entirely stopped. As she left the hospital, Emily experienced a feeling of numbness. It was as though she were moving through a cloud, and she couldn't see anything clearly. Even though her father had passed away, she knew that his words would always be with her, serving as a beacon to help her navigate the turbulent waters of life. Sometimes it takes a difficult situation, like losing a loved one, to understand the value of love and forgiveness. With the help of forgiveness, we can move forward with love and compassion in our hearts and experience a sense of peace and closure. Life will get rough and uncertain, however it continues to flow.